right, guys, don't question it. Things are happening here. Ugh. Desk. Things are happening here. And if you saw that other video, or if it hasn't been released yet, because I'm an idiot, um, essentially this uh, just came out of uh, the video for this guy. And I didn't have anything else to cut, so we'll probably be using this package more. Anyhow, let's continue to use this guy to mutilate this package. Welcome back to Ryan's EDC Opinionarium and Stupidity. Now, before you ask if I could do this in any dumber of a way, remember, I'm Ryan. All right, we freed one of the knives. So this guy was at Walmart. Uh, this was a $25 pack. Um, and I thought that it looked pretty cool. It does list the steels on the back. Um, came with a multi-tool. That's great. Here's a little guy. Get that. Let's get that out. Hold on over here. Oh, like peeling a pomegranate. All right, on the back here we have our, um, well, not instructions, anyways. Uh, we have the field knife, which is the big fella. And we have the survivor's edge, which is the little fella. And on the big fella, we're looking at 7 CR 17 MOV, which is eh, so so, but for $25 for the pair, I think it's cool. 5 CR on the little guy, which is eh, more meh but still okay it's kind of cool it's 25 dollars uh we got a rubber handle on one and gfn with paracord on the other and satin and ha hard cased black um you can obviously see the weights there if you can read this i am working on my lighting guys i know i know i know and the little multi-tool is in 3cr13 mlv which is a pretty common stool a uh, stool steel for small tools um there's that Yeet. and let's get into the knives first things first i want to have a look at these sheets okay all right that's a thing okay what is happening here um i've never seen anything like that that is something else. Yep, that's backwards. Get down stupid. Don't like the lock up on that too much. I mean, it locks up, but you know. The clip, I am sure I will break, but I am going to carry these. And I mean both of them, not just one. So, yeah, deal with it. Anyhow. Let's start off with the little guy. This is this is something else. The, the blade shape kind of reminds me of the squid from Sarah KT. I don't have one of those. I wanted one of those. I don't have it. Um, did I just eat that package? I said I was going to mutilate it more. Yeah, I did. Here it is. Interesting. Well, it cuts. The, the handle is really weird. There's obviously some kind of steel in there. Because I don't think you can pack paracord that tight. Um, so it's got this weird... Like, it... I thought it was just a messed up looking pair, like lanyard in there. I'm wrong. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. I've never experienced that before. Also got a hole right there. Huh. You know, I'm sure there's a use for this that I don't know. It looks like you could almost 
mounted to a weapon or something. I'm not sure. Or, well... Might logic myself into believing that you might be able to tie this to a stick. Whatever it is, um, I probably won't find out. So, there's that. Um, QSP Mamba for size comparison here. And the Raccoon, which is my standard daily carry. And here's the field. And uh, while we're at it, I'll throw in a mink from Vlasti. Just a uh, well, size chart. Cool. All right. Funky. Kind of cool. We'll see. Cheaper steel. Really weird handle. Um... Now this guy, on the other hand, says it's full tang. It's got, yeah, it's got tang protruding on the bottom. That is, ugh, excuse me, kind of looks like a hammering surface. Um, maybe for tent stakes? I don't know what else you'd hammer with that. I'd be kind of nervous of hitting the meteor hand, especially if you have freaking ogre hands like I do. Big old SOG logo on the side there and the other side because, you know, we got to make sure everyone knows. It says China right there. Came more sharp than the other one. And I've once again needed the packaging. Oh. All right. Yeah. Came a lot sharper. See? All right. There it goes. Not feeling any rattle. The, uh, oh, I like the placement of the jimping. That feels great. Um, pretty standard size knife. I mean, like, if you compare it to a, a mink, which is exceptionally small, pretty average size there. Feels... Like, it's very comfortable. Like, there's no hotspot to mention. It is just plain old comfortable. Um, again, that jimping isn't a great spot for, like, push cuts. It feels great. Um, good edge. Again, that 7 CR17 MOV, they put the best steel they had right here. For $25, I would pay that just for this one knife as of right now. Uh, we'll see going forward based on hardness, etc. But, um... If it manages to stay at all as sharp as I think it will, or should, it's definitely a pass for me, and all the other stuff is just a bonus. Um, speaking of other stuff, why don't we have a look at this little multi-tool? This is interesting. We have a couple of hexes. Um, a little D-shaped wrench of some kind. I don't know what that hole is for. Is that supposed to... Oh, uh, smart. I don't like this kind of sharpener, but I believe that that is a metal sharpener right there. If you look at either side, they have these little bits of probably more hardened steel, and those are meant to sharpen. Um, I'm going to test that on the field master here. It's not a field master. It's just called the uh, survivor's edge. Yeah, that's definitely what that's meant to do. Maybe more of a honer than a sharpener. Then again, that actually feels slightly better. You're probably asking why I don't like that kind of sharpener, and it's because um, they tend to remove too much material, and being set at a specific angle means that if you have a knife that didn't come at that angle, it's not going to like that. You're going to have to remove a lot of material to get it anywhere. Though, as for this set, it's pretty decent. If you have no sharpening experience, it's decent. I've never seen a sharpener on a tool like this before, and I think that's really cool. 
Um, that looks like it's a bottle opener, a nail puller, pry, Phillips, flathead. This is a larger flathead right here. Again, with the hex wrenches. Um, just a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Also, a big hex right there. You could probably get a quarter inch bit in there and turn it. Um, so that's interesting. That's actually a really cool little piece. I'm going to have to actually try this out. Um, so that's the set. I'm going to cut this a little bit short for me anyways. This is probably an average video for most reviewers. Um, thought so far it's worth it just for this. The multi-tool is really interesting. It feels a little light. I'd worry about that. But remember, it's not for hard use. Um doesn't look like you could really use it that hard anyways and uh yeah i like this primary knife and i'll figure out this thing whatever it is anyways have a good night guys i will see you in the next video and expect more to come i am just busy okay i'm so busy all right and the last thing on the agenda for tonight we are having our 1,000 sub giveaway. We're currently at about 1,080 subs. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I have in hand the coolest thing I could fathom giving away. And um, I'm not going to show it in this video. It, you're just going to have to wait. All right? Wait. You'll see it soon. I'm just waiting on the last piece for this giveaway, and we will be a go, people. All right. See you in the next video.